Good morning, my friends. This is Tanya at Sidekick Crafts. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all having a great day so far. As you can see, I am starting uh, my day a little crafty and wanted to turn that camera on and bring you along. So I am doing the full deck challenge. This is challenge number two. I'm using jumbo cards. And uh, today, this challenge for this card is, or the prompts are turquoise, music paper, black marks, and a flower. So I am gonna play a little bit and see what I can come up with. So um, I'm hoping to use some watercolor today. So I'm gonna put some gesso down on my card. You can see I've already um, covered it with the tissue to make it more receptive to other mediums. It's a brand new bottle of gesso. I guess I should have opened it first, but whatever. Here we go. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this one. I'm always excited about them, aren't I? Put some gesso on here today so that my watercolor will take. I hear a gardener outside now that I just started this video. I hope they're across, I think they're across the street though. I think my gardener's coming on Saturday. My gardener, my lawn guy. I make it sound like I have this uh, gardening professional. He does my lawn, which I appreciate immensely. I live on a hill. <laughs> Pushing a lawnmower up and down that hill is just a lot, a lot for me. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate him. I really do. All right, so there's my gesso. And we're going to leave that for a minute. I'm going to think about this for a minute. Okay, so this paper, this is a from the antique bookstore, and it's really brittle. And I really hesitated using it, but I ought to use it on something, right? So I kind of want to use this around. I'm going to put this on. I think, oh, man. I probably should put the um, watercolor over. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. That's the thing. Um, I never really plan it. I just kind of go with it. But this, this, um, the prompts are difficult for me. You know, I like to feel, I like to feel it and do things, um, spontaneously. That's more my style. But here we, here we are doing this. It actually really does uh, make me try new things, which is good, which is a good thing. Let's try some coffee while we're waiting. Mm. All right. Um, I should have turned or plugged in my, my heat gun instead of my glue gun, but I'm gonna need my glue gun too, so we'll keep that cord close by. <laughs> you guys know I only have one plug up here, so I have to switch things out. I have to decide what I'm gonna plug in before I start. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Bumping things. All right, let's 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 get this dried up. Let's get it dry. And see what we got. I may add another, it's cracking. I may add another, um, it's wet right there. Another coat after I get the music paper on. And we'll see how we do this. Okay, so. Um, I got several different paints out. Now, I love these paints because they got the shimmer to them. And I apologize, I cannot remember. This is a, a small company and I cannot remember the name of it. I wonder if she put it on. I didn't write it on here. I'm gonna have to find out the name of the company and put it back in there, but. Wit, that's what it was. It's Wit. And I found her on Instagram, W-H-I-T-T, -T. Um, somebody that, uh, I don't remember. So one of my friends had really um, been excited about her paints, and they're beautiful. And um, Wit is the company. And I wanted to use the Tahiti, possibly, along with the turquoise. And I found some of my other paints. This one is... One of my my favorite palettes too. Let's see, yeah, cerulean blue is pretty turquoise. Let's try that one. It's been a long time since I've used these paints, you guys. So 
let's start there. We'll just use a little cerulean blue. Kind of get it over here. Actually, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Let's put some of this teal blue in it. I'm gonna make it nice and juicy. Kind of so it'll run down my card. And I kind of want to start like right up here. Will this work? I don't know. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Doesn't want to go. There we go. Kind of. Not really what I was hoping for. Maybe a lot more. Come on now. boring okay let's see what else we can do look what else is happening that's coming off what what is that coming off all right hang on a minute what is coming off is that the gesso one I just put on there it is why is that coming off look the gesso that I just put on coming off with water. Why? Why? I thought that's what it was for. Is that not what it's for? Do I need to start this again? <laughs> to seal and prepare before painting. Well, all right. Um, not fond of that. So, maybe we try something different. Um, let me think a second. Because that didn't work. Obviously, I did something wrong because, right? I mean, did I do something wrong? I don't know. Didn't I apply it the way I should have? I don't know. Maybe not. But that gesso was coming right off with the watercolor. And I know that's not supposed to happen. So, let's do something different. Hmm, I need the turquoise. Well, I don't, the turquoise doesn't have to be the background. What do I have though? Because I gotta get turquoise in here somehow. What about, if I have an ink, I have a distress ink. I mean, I could use a paper, I suppose. I'm not doing what I wanted to do. Is this turquoise enough? It's close. It's pretty darn close to the color I was using anyway. How's that? That's something. go with it. Trust the process, right? Hmm. Let's see. Um, I have a feeling, I think I want to do a texture paste on here. And that would require, oh, you know what? I have some ink I can drip on there. Texture paste. I have some beautiful India ink that I could use. And I've got some texture paste that I might find more fun than that gesso was. Paste. Expand. I don't want to expand paste. That would be weird. It would look like snow. Watercolor ground. I could use that. It's watercolor ground. Clear. What is that one? Clear. Clear gloss. Super fine. That's not what I want either. Okay, hang on. But I'm gonna, I guess I could use my grit paste. Oh, 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 I know what to use. Duh. That's what I bought it for. It's sitting right here. 
some speckle. One time speckle. Okay. <laughs> this stuff might even be turquoise before it dries. I'm not even sure. Okay, so we need something that maybe some flowers, perhaps. Do I have flower stencils? I'm not sure. I think these need to go in here. Maybe if I put things away correctly, maybe. I could use some stripes and add some flowers to that. That would be nice. Or some plaid. That would be nice. I've got honeycomb. Do I have two of those? I sure do. I'm gonna use one of those for somebody else. Share, share my wealth. I don't need two. Looking through my stencils. I don't have a lot of flowers. I need some, I probably need to, there's a huge flower, but that won't fit on my card. Christmas trees. Why don't I have two of everything? Why? I guess I could share those too when it comes time. Okay, so let's go ahead. Did that dry? I'm gonna dab it. I don't know if it's dry or not. I'm gonna dab it and pick up any any wetness. And I think I think I'm gonna go here. Okay, so at least on part of it. Do not do like this. You guys clean your spatula every time. Okay. Once it dries on there, it's really hard to soak off. Yeah, it's true. Um, so this is spackle. I just got it from, you know, you can get spackle anywhere. Home Depot, wherever. Works really well for this. So I'm told. <laughs> but this is the first time I've used it for this. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do stripes down here. I'm going to do plaid up here. I'll hold this down. see how I like using the speckle but when I've seen it demos it seems to work pretty well I just want a light layer I don't want to go crazy and there we go all right so there's that and I want to set that aside but not on my coffee cup where can I put it so it doesn't make a mess It'll work and then I want to do a few stripes down here just for something different down at the bottom, something to ground it. Turn this so it makes it a little easier to work with. Just to ground it. Oops, and I hope that didn't mess it up, but that's kind of where I was gonna put my flowers anyway, so. Of course, this isn't magic spackle, it's just spackle. That's all right. I moved it. My boot moved it. It's not the fault of the spackle at all. It's because I moved it. And I like that the turquoise or the blue is still coming through. It's kind of nice. Let's close this up. I think I'm done with that. So if you feel like using spackle today, I just this is just the one-time lightweight spackling. Fills holes in one easy step. No sanding required. Spreads easily. Paintable in minutes. So let's dry that. And let's see what we got. Now I could be, ooh, that would be fun. I have, um, let's see if I have another color ink that would be more, ooh, I'm burning it. Look, it's turning brown in spots. Okay, so be careful with how much heat you add. Trying to burn it, but I do see some burn in there. That's not good. Just trying to warm it up. All right, turn that off. Stop it. Stop. Okay, let's see where we're at. Is it dry at least? I'm gonna go around the edges and cut the tissue. Just around the edges. I don't 
think it's completely dry. But that's okay, because we can work on this in other spots too. Now, um, we still gotta get the music and the black mark making on here. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I probably should have done my speckling after that. Would have made more sense, wouldn't it? It's just so excited. So excited to try to get it done. All right, so that's what we've got so far. Now, I still need to get this in there, some of it at least. I'm so hesitant to tear it, but that's what it's for. It is for to use. this here maybe perhaps and I'm thinking about I was gonna use rubber stamp but I don't think I'm gonna use the rubber stamp I think I'd rather use these flowers or at least some of them and I kind of wanted to use this, this black and white one because of the black mark making. Um, I thought that would be a pretty addition in there. Really love this yellow, but the blue is nice too. I could kind of tuck that into there. And then pull, let's see, pull this up. I'm glad I put the um, stripes down at the bottom. It almost looks like a little fence, maybe, like for a garden. If I pull this up enough, I can put a um, sentiment right there. It would be nice. Or pull this down just a little, maybe. I kind of want to tip these in different directions because gardens aren't all facing the same direction, right? Something like that. And then I need, still need black mark making. I think I want to use this paper. marks should I make? Let's see. Ooh, just melted that on there. Hot glue gun. So when she says mark making, she's just talking about making marks on papers. It doesn't have to say anything, doesn't need to... Maybe I should make sure my pen works. These pens have been sitting in a container for a while, not being used much. I think I just smushed it. It's kind of scribbling. I don't know. I don't know what that is or what it's supposed to be. I was kind of thinking of making it look kind of like words, but not. I don't know if I succeeded in that. <laughs> it looks like somebody's ugly handwriting that you can't read. But that's kind of, kind of the idea, right? If I do that, maybe it'll look like somebody's handwriting that they can't read. And that's what 
it's not so bad. Maybe I'll stick a piece of this in here. That's too big if I do, and I think it's upside down. No, maybe not. I'm kind of liking that. What do you guys think? Tell me, tell me. I think I like it. Should I take this back out? I kind of like it stuck in there though, like it's just a little, just a little note. All right, so let's glue. I think that's everything. Did I get everything? A flower, turquoise. Yeah, I got it. All right, so let's um, let's glue. Ugh. This is the hard part because it's so. Okay, I need a pin. This was a quick project today, wasn't it? Try not to put too much thought into it. Let's see if I can get my glue to unstuck. Sometimes I feel like when, oh, I forgot the ink. I still wanna put that ink on there. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside just like this because I know that this is how I wanna do it. Okay, not just like that because it moved, but anyway. I still want to try the ink on there, but I also know that I need to water this down. How can I do that here with what I have on my desk? I have this little container. I think this will work. Because it's too thick as it is. says teal. Is that close enough to turquoise? It is today. It is today. Okay. Now this is going to stain if it gets on stuff because this is actually ink. I really want to just drip this down because I think it's going to be gorgeous. I think I was right. I think this is what I needed for um, my turquoise, not the not the watercolor. Look how it's just soaking up into that paste. I want to cover the paste too much, but it's really sticking in there. That's really neat. And then I know a lot of this is going to be covered with flowers anyway, so. Look at that. All right, that will need to be clean. Okay, now, I'm worried about touching it with this because I don't want it to pick up. Too oh, and it did, darn it. Okay, so we don't want to use the tissue. We want to use the heat gun because it's still too wet. I think the paste the paste soaked it up and re-wet it, reconstituted it. So we use this. So I may have to rethink that right, right corner. This is all trial and error. Trust the process. Go with the flow. Sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it might not. I like doing this though because I learn different mediums. I learn what works on small projects instead of something that's really important. I can still get a really cool look out of it too. So it's all good.
Basically, mistakes were made. <laughs> but we're going to go with it. It's not picking up anymore, so I think we're good. I'm gonna blast some speed in real quick. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little crappy right now. It does. And I'm gonna do this around the edges because what not? Little distressing. Ugh. I said a little, not a ton. This might not be a crafting day for me, you guys. Nothing's quite right. What is happening? What in the world is happening? Since I'm doing that, should I do these two? I was gonna leave it there so I remembered how I did it, but that's okay. Everything's changed. Everything has changed. I gotta put that music up top to cover up that blooper. I don't need to distress my paper because um, it's really old antique and it will fall apart in my hands if I do. Leave that alone. Put that stressing away. Put that ink away. Done with those. Okay, so here we go. Let's replace some of this stuff. Ugh, I can't pick it up. All right, I kind of want to go this way now because I want to cover up that corner a bit. I don't like it no more. This is off, and so we're going to use liquid glue and hope that works. Come on, I already cleaned this out. See, I'm telling you, this, it's just not going right. Nothing's going the way I expected. Not at all. Hopefully that's not a precursor of how the rest of my day goes. Just maybe my crafting today. Especially since I have to go to work. No surprises at work today, okay? Okay. As if. You know there's going to be surprises at work today. I haven't been there for a week, you guys. There's going to definitely be some surprises. Kind of got a heads up about a couple things yesterday, but I wanted to put a sentiment in there, so I think I want to put this facing this way. See, this is where my hot glue gun would come in and be beneficial. But here we are. Okay, and I think I put this one here. balances out the yellow one. Some of that goes off the paper so I don't want to tip it or put too much. And I wanted to put that in there. I guess I could just tape or paste it on there. Make a little tag. Oh, 
Oh, you guys, I forgot my, yikes, I forgot my dot, my, my drawing, my dot, my, 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 my marking. Where do I put that? My mark making. I guess I can stick it out in there. This isn't gonna stay. I'm gonna have to turn on my hot glue gun. Okay, one more time. Sorry if I wobble you. Let's get this plugged back in. I'm about to come up with a better system. An extension cord or something. I don't know. Something. Something, something. Yeah, see, none of it's sticking down, which is fine. Not sure how I would have done this one different. Um, I kind of like it and I kind of don't. I'm going to add some more details to it, I think. I'm going to put some, um, some of this on there. I can actually do that while I'm waiting. Add some sparkle. Highlight to it. My Wink of Stella. just looks flat so maybe this will help a little just to add a little sparkle here and there I don't want it on the music paper I like the Wink of Stella because it's, um, it's subtle, but you can definitely see it. Definitely see it. But it's not like in your face glitter either. What's up, Cash? What's up, kitty? All right, let's get some hot glue under there. Get this tacked down. All that work with the texture paste did no good, did it? None of it shows. <laughs> but I got some practice in and I learned some stuff, so that was something. It wasn't useless. careful with that paper it's so brittle so brittle put some under here yeah see a glue to the paste but it didn't stay okay I think that will tack everything down pretty much did that come up yeah that's up I still want to put like a sentiment, one of these sentiments on here. So what should I put on here? It's your day, make today count, missing you, best wishes, congratulations, best day ever, make a wish, celebrate you, birthday wishes. I don't know what I want to put. Actually, I just want to put one right here. How about just enjoy today? Just enjoy today. How about that? I'll put a little of this on there. There we 
go. Just a simple statement. I think we're done. I think that's it. I've got my flowers. I've got my black mark making. I've got my turquoise. I've got my music paper. That's everything. So I think that is my card number six. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm still not sure I'm sold on this one, but I'm gonna keep trying. Um, I love my past deck that I, the one that I did without the prompts. So these prompts, I don't know. They're just, uh, it's it's difficult for me. So um, it, which is why I'm doing it. I want to make sure that I'm stretching outside my comfort zone and using the prompts to decide on things. Then I go back and look at the ones in the group, and they're just gorgeous. I'm like, how? How did you do that? And you know, everybody just works their own way and it's it's kind of fun to do. So if you guys haven't tried it and are interested in trying it, try it out. It's um, there's, um, it's the full deck challenge and there is a Facebook group as well that you can go and check them out and you get to see what everybody makes. It's so fun. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy today. Thanks, see you next time. Bye-bye.